welcome back so now let's see a problem in which we would be doing some kind of a pattern matching or string matching in this problem we need to design a fsm in which the input is valid if it ends in 110 over the alphabets 0 comma 1 so the step 1 remains same you need to explain what is an fsm step 2 will be having some changes over here so let's see the logic is straightforward we have inputs in the form of 0 and 1 we have outputs either yes or no so we need to highlight whether the input will be accepted or not okay so now let's see what are the states in the previous examples we had a straightforward uh, count of states if the number is divisible by 3 then we would be having 3 plus 1 that is 4 states and so on so now in this case the number of states will vary depending upon the question which is being asked so let's see how the number of states will vary the inputs are obviously 0 and 1 over here so the initial state qs remains the same q0 will be a state which will accept the inputs ending with 0 similarly q1 will be a state for accepting the inputs ending with 1 these are the basic states we always need to have such states in our table which will be general that is we need to have a state ending with 0 we need to have a state ending with 1 the next state in fact depends upon the question which is being asked to us so let's see we are already having three states qs q0 and q1 so now we need to move according to the question being asked for example in this question it is asked that we need to have uh, a machine which will accept all the inputs ending with 110 so what we we can do is we can simply go one input at a time now we know that we are having a state to accept values ending with 0 we are also having a state which will accept the inputs ending with 1 but in our question it is being said clearly that we need to accept the inputs which will be ending with 110 so over here we can't directly jump from q0 q1 to the state q3 because there has to be some kind of an intermediate step because we are uh, taking the inputs one at a time so what we can do is for reaching 110 we must take input as 11 also because we can't directly jump from input 1 to input 110 clear so for that purpose we have added an intermediate step q2 which will take the input and accept it if it ends in 11 clearly we can see from here it's common uh, straightforward logic that if 11 is the input and we take the upcoming input as 0 it would simply be 110 and hence in this particular q2 state state we will directly jump to q3 on reception of an input 0 is it clear so hence we can say that q3 is my final state clear so now let's fill it up fill the table so that we can conclude our example so now qs is the initial state whichever input it receives it's it uh, simply makes a jump to that particular state for example qs on input 0 will go to state uh, q0 similarly qs on input 1 we know that the inputs ending with 1 corresponds to q1 state so we'll write q1 over here next up we are already having a 0 in the state q0 so whichever input comes over here for example 0 is already there whichever input comes over here it is q0 only because either 0 or 0 0 it will end in 0 only so the state will be q0 similarly we are already having one 0 in q0 what if we receive an input 1 over here now let's do a quick check for this particular example we are having an input 0 1 over here so which state we should jump to are we are we having any state ending with 0 1 no so what we can do is we are not having any state ending with 0 1 but we are having a state ending with 1 in either cases 0 1 is also ending with 1 yes or no the last symbol is 1 only so we can say that 0 1 is an input which is ending with 1 so the state over here will be q1 clear got it so what is my next step 
Next step is Q1 state. I am already having a 1 as input over here. If I receive an input 0, it becomes 10. Do I have a state 10? No, I don't have a state 10. What next? You will simply feel confused over here because this is also a state which is, which is ending with 10. But it is also having one more extra input 1 preceding it. So it is not exactly 10, it is 110. So we can't simply write Q3 over here. Why? Because we don't know what is the input ahead of this. It can be either a 0 also. So it can be 0, 1, 0 also. Then in that case, this Q3 won't, sorry, Q3 over here won't satisfy the equation. So what we need to do is, we need to simply check by backtracking. That is, if the input is 1 over here and if I get a 0 input over here, what is the next step? For example, 1, 0 comes over here. Do we have a, do we have any state uh, ending with 10 over here? No, we are having this state as 110. So what we can do is we will simply correspond this to the state ending with 0. That is also acceptable, right? So it is Q0 over here. Clearly, it is 1, 1. What do we mean by 1, 1? Are we having a state? Yes, it is Q2. It's very straightforward. Next step, 1, 1, 1. 1 1 1 are we having any state corresponding to that no we are not having any state corresponding to 1 1 1 so what we can do is we can backtrack first check if we are having a state ending with 1 yes we are having a state ending with 1 move ahead we are having a state ending with 1 1 yes we are also having a state ending with 1 1 keep on moving until the condition uh, doesn't get satisfied okay so now are we having a state ending with triple 1 no, we are not having a state ending with triple 1. So we simply backtrack to the previous step, which is 1, 1. So now we are having a state ending with 1, 1. Yes. So we will simply write the state ending with 1, 1 over here, which is Q2. 1, 1, 1 wasn't present. So we just backtracked one step and we came to know that Q2 would be the state where the input 1, 1 will be accepted. Next, last step, 1, 1, 0, 0. 110 is already over here and we take the input 0 from here it is 1100 is there any state corresponding to 1100 no so we would simply write q0 over here which is ending with 0 last step 1101 are we having any state ending with 1 yes we have so move ahead are we having any state ending with 01 no so we backtrack and hence we came to know that q1 will be the state clear with the transition table because this is the very important this is the most important step in this particular problem okay so done so far so now let's jump to the fourth step which is transition diagram so carefully look at the table and complete the diagram qs on input 0 goes to q0 qs on input 1 goes to q1 similarly uh, sim sim uh, similarly q0 on input 0 remains in q0 q0 on input 1 goes to q1 Let's fill up the table and see how it looks. I will just pause it for a few seconds and then come back to it. So this is how your transition diagram will look. Just complete your diagram and match it with mine. You will have something like this. So now just move to the final, uh, final uh, step. That is simulation. But before that, let me highlight the final state. Q3 is the final state over here. So mark it with a double circle just to highlight that this is your final state clear so now just see what is simulation i've taken two different examples to show how it will accept or reject first example you can check the diagram also from the diagram you can clearly solve the example qs on input 1 qs on input 1 goes to q1 over here the rest of the inputs are 0 0 1 1 next q1 on input 0 q1 on input 0 goes to q0 with the remaining inputs being 0 1 1 and Q0 on input 0 is again Q0. Remaining inputs are 1, 1. So now the state is Q0 on input 1. Q0 on input 1 goes to Q1. So Q1 and the last input left is 1. Q1 on input 1 goes to Q2. Hence, as we know that there are no, no inputs left and the state has not moved to the final state yet. So we say that this input will be rejected. Similarly, 
clearly we can see that this particular input is ending with 110 if you solve it one by one step by step you will come to know that the final step uh, is comprising of q3 state and there are no further inputs left so hence this particular example will be solved and accepted by the machine using the logic mentioned over here clear that's how we solve a problem in fsm in which the input is valid if it ends in 110 so that's it for this particular problem stay tuned for the rest of the problems in this particular tutorial series thank you so much for watching stay tuned